So, in my article from 2020, oh, sorry, 2019, I emphasized how important it is to use translucent user interfaces um, rather than using transparent UIs in augmented reality interfaces. So right now, since Apple is actually implementing this uh, principle with their Apple Vision Pro, let's see how we can design similar experiences on other mixed reality and XR headsets. So I'm going to just minimize this article and I'm going to do that on my MetaQuest 3. So let's dive inside Shapes XR, which is my go-to UX UI design application for mixed reality and XR experiences or if you want to say special computing for example let's take this uh, XR AI concept I made a few months ago so I'm gonna simply switch to one of the UIs so that's a pretty much Apple Vision Pro user interface as you can see and I made some holograms and stuff like this uh, in my concept, but as you can see, I've used this user interface. I designed the, uh, this user interface. Um, let me just close this one. So as you can see, it's not fully transparent because the Quest 3 uh, is basically running on top of uh, uh, Snapdragon uh, ARM processor, right? So basically, it's just the same processor we have in our smartphones for example the android phones so the quest can't re render this kind of uh, translucent uis so that's why meta is using this you know optic uh, user interface so the, the ui is not transparent and even if they will make it transparent i guess it will take impact on the readability but there are ways that actually you can cheat hack your way you know uh, when designing interfaces for especially AR because we are dealing with mixed reality meaning we can see our own reality from our VR headsets that are using this these uh, stereoscopic cameras to capture the reality with real depth so we can estimate where everything is so that's we can uh, do stuff in our physical space without you know running into walls or furniture or, st or stuff like this and I can even know where this uh, remote controller is so I can pick it pick stuff up or even my smartphone <sighs> I can go ahead and reach and pick it up so what I did here is uh, I just iterated on Shapes XR um, built-in design for creating these kind of translucent experiences but I've improved it um, so you can see that it's not fully transparent and it's not uh, uh, fully fully optic you know there is a slight transparency on translucency that I can see this uh, the TV behind this thing, and obviously the furniture. So the best way to demonstrate it is just to by twisting it uh, on its axis. And let's try to separate this from the different stuff. So I can simply take it just like in any 3D uh, design application. And let's do the same for the text. And you can see basically that we've got three layers here, right? Basically three layers. One of them is the text, white text, you know, on white background won't be so readable, so that's why we add a background to stuff. And the third layer is just uh, some background that I've designed in Photoshop, and it's just a blurry mess. And then you can go ahead and play with the transparency of this thing. So if I go back to this thing, I can make it about 80% transparent. So So now... You can see that it's kind of it kind of achieves the Apple Vision Pro effect, although Apple is doing a real time rendering, so that's something that again the MetaQuest and the other XR headsets in the market can't do. But when I make it larger, it does the effect, and the text the text is still readable if I push it back to its original position. For example, here the text is still readable, all right, but the translucency magic uh, is gone, so that's why I keep it about above 90% uh, transparency. So something like this is even better. And if I go 95 or maybe even 98, 
you can see that the effect is still there. You can see that uh, the, the, the text is readable, which is what's uh, the highest priority for us as designers. You can still see the background of my living room, even the chandelier and the TV and the furniture behind it. Everything is visible, right? So that's almost like the Apple Vision Pro effect. It's not fully translucent, but that's what we have in order to make the illusion of uh, translucency on headsets and devices that cannot render um, real-time translucency effect or shaders. So that does the job. As you can see, that's what I did in the following screens, and it did the magic. As for white text in mid-air, if your physical space is full with uh, dark um, colored furniture or walls, as you can see the text is readable, but once I take this text uh, in front of a white background or even the sunlight, as you can see most of the text, you see the, the title for photos and messages and Apple TV is not readable anymore. So that's something that you have to take in account because whenever whenever you are designing such as in such interfaces, you want to keep your text readable. So now in, against the sunlight, as you can see, my white text on top on top of this translucent uh, uh, design, uh, the background is completely readable. So that's what we want. You can do it also with dark themed interfaces. So if I go ahead and change this material with the new shape, and let's try to color it as black. Okay. And let's try to reduce the opacity. And now, all right, I managed to do it. And let's take this text uh, and apply it to this shape. As you can see, if I take them both, the text is perfectly readable without any translucency effect behind it. So that's that's something that uh, I would like to see from Meta. Obviously, designed even better because I'm just doing a rough mock-up of things. And even if I reduce it to 50%, the text is still perfectly readable. All right. Uh, obviously, Meta will find their ways. Will have to find their ways to actually make it uh, uh, real-time renders and shaders for translucency because. This is very important for uh, XR design, as I said in my article from 19, 2019. And the funny thing is that Meta already did so with their interfaces. Uh, if you remember the file application, uh, let's open it up. The file application used to have some sort of some sort of transparency uh, on this section where it says media. So when you used to scroll the um, videos and uh, pictures you captured, you could see a slight translucent effect on top of them uh, on this bar. So you could see these uh, images through this bar when it used to be translucent. And they've had a real-time shader, but I guess that it's something more simplified for uh, what's happening within the window rather than rendering the, the reality, the, your physical reality, through these uh, interfaces. So I guess that it's going to take a huge impact on the uh, processor unit in our headsets, so that's why they are not doing so, and they've got rid of this one really quickly, because I remember it uh, about a year ago, It's it, it, one day it just disappeared. So user interface design in the era of uh, special computing um, is going to have some real challenges for us designers, and I want to see more practical use cases for this kind of things that I've talked about in, uh, in my article. Transparency makes things hard to see, especially text and complex objects. While translucency basically uh, blurs the background and you can still see text and uh, maps and stuff like this, navigation and content on, on, on your headsets. For example, headlocked displays, um, for example, some notifi oh, notifications, stuff like this, basic information that I would like to see in the future on my peripheral uh, vision, uh, on my VR, AR or XR glasses, in the future uh, should be translucent as you can see and if you make it transparent it's 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 not that readable as you can see small text is barely readable so this is something that the, all vr ar companies and xr companies uh, will have to solve before uh, ar headsets ar glasses become mainstream till these things until these technologies uh, will come practical designers will have to use out-of-the-box thinking in order to solve these kind of things all right, this is all.